all right everybody here to do another video this video is going to be on float on trailers it's uh nothing but a load of trailers no boats we did these several months ago and we stopped and now we're back to doing them again so i'm going to do a quick video because some things have changed since my last video so uh starting out you're always going to have a pat pallet of these winches Okay, they're the winches that go on the front of the trailer that everybody hooks their boat to, winches it up, so on and so forth. No way to get around that. I'll, I always load it up here on the deck. Okay, now there is something different because of these tires, which I'll get back to. All right, every time you leave out of there, you're more than likely going to have seven trailers. I don't know how many three axles you're going to have and how many two axles you can have. It's been different every time. This is the biggest load that I pulled out of there, okay, which was five three axles and one two axle, okay. Now, in the past, they always had the tires come out of Oregon. We never had to haul the tires. That's no longer a deal, so the tires have to come with us. As you can see, I had to take a lot of the tires off. I'm working on that to try to eliminate having to take a lot of the tires off. The reason, the bottom tra trailer, there's no doubt, th those tires are always going to have to come off, so that's six, three on each side, okay? But as we started going up, we had tires on all of these up here, but the tires were touching the fender. Anywhere the tires didn't touch the fender, we were able to leave the tires on, okay? I'm going to increase the space in between the trailers with some 2 by 6s because we weren't missing but a little bit of being able to put these tires back on, except for the bottom one. That one always has to come off. If I can do that on my next load, you're going to see that there are fewer tires, um, extra tires. I have a bunch of tires back there and I have these tires right here. You're going to see that those will be on the trailers, not a big deal. You can also see up there, I left that spare. That's what these are. These are the spares for these other trailers, okay? Can't put them on to keep the height down. But I didn't have another trailer. That tire measured out at 13.3, okay? Now, if we put these tires on, we're gonna be a little higher. I'll find out on my next load and update everybody. So if you haven't watched my first video, you'll see that we do not strap the same way that we strap boats. Boats, the back of the boats here, we put the straps going forward. Whether it's one or two, they go that way, down to the trailer. Here, can't do that because of all these fenders and everything like that. You can see where the straps would be trying to come down. It just won't work. So you hook, I'll show you here. You're gonna hook your clip right up in there, okay? Put you some carpet. And then that strap is going to come all the way down to your trailer somewhere. I always just kind of clip them to the I-beams, okay? I'm not going to show you each and every individual, okay? Because they change. Each time you get a load and the load is different size trailers, you're going to change where these straps hook in. But the main thing that you need to know is that they pull away from the trailer, okay? On the back and on the front, which I'm going to go up there. Sorry, the front of the... They're switched back and forth. So anyway, up here they go this way, back there they go that way. And I'll show you that, okay? Now, the steel. You're going to need six short uprights. They can be three hole, five hole six hole it doesn't matter okay but you're gonna have to have six of them i double barred everything sorry um and you can see that my bars aren't bending or anything like that. it's a heavy load but it's not you know putting all that weight right on this bar this is why you want six you come up here towards the center okay and we have another one another three hole double barred now, you could have moved it here, here, here. It, it doesn't really matter. We just want to try to catch it. And actually, I probably should have brought it back, you know, a little bit. But it, that's okay. All right. Here's a view of what the traders look back here. And 
and again like I said up there you'll see how all the straps go from the trailer pulling away from the trailer down to your trailer in multiple different areas all right because we had to remove so many tires I built this rack okay the tires fit in it really nicely I did this years ago when we were doing boat mate trailers and we always had to take the tires with us okay I'm hoping to eliminate as many of these as I possibly can but if you have to build a small rack like this because if I can get rid of that many then you could just use a shorter upright back here to put the bottom ones on okay no matter how you look at it if you don't have bars this bar here okay is actually keeping those tires from bouncing out but it wasn't keeping them from moving so that's what this strap around the tires is for is to hold them that way because the tongue of that trailer was coming down and these tires were moving too much okay so that strap holds those tires that way that strap holds those tires that way up here there was no neck of a trailer in the way so I was able to put enough tires to where they wedged themselves in there but I still ran a strap all the way across the top around that top set of tires and down to my trailer I had to hook two straps together but that's fine it rode the whole way over here like that always make sure to put your sway strap I only needed one I put it on the one in the back because it was gonna probably jump more all right so anyway if you have to you can call me or whatever if this isn't explanatory enough give you enough explanation as to what you need to do to haul the tires but again I'm going to try to eliminate as many of these as I can by putting them back on the trailers raising it up will be a little higher okay I'm going to check with the state of Florida see how high they'll let us go without having to permit it I'm hoping it's around 14 feet and um, uh, then we'll be good to go and we can probably get all the tires except for the bottom ones on okay coming down this side it's going to be the same as that side over there all the straps come away you know any place like i've always said in my videos where you're going to touch something that strap would have probably rubbed through the carpet okay that's why i put carpet on the strap this one and on the other side it's not touching but if this strap would have got a little loose in transit then uh, you know it might have sat here rubbing against that light but you can see the light looks great okay again short upright three hole four hole as long as we're not going to hit anything you know you could if you don't have enough three holes you could use a four or a five hole if you have to okay we just want to make sure that it's not going to hit anything okay now i'm trying to back up not trip okay so this is what the other side looks like and you'll see that the tires we left on are a little different. We took some off that we couldn't take off over here just because of the way the fenders aren't perfectly square. The trailers aren't sitting perfectly square. So like for instance, this tire here, it or this hub here, the tire was actually on there when I left. But as I started going down the road, I mean, I knew it was really, really close, you know, and it actually, as the trailer settled, this tire here was touching the fender so I took it off a couple of days ago and uh, it's it's down there in the belly I'll show you in a minute um, uh, just to keep it from bouncing against the uh, fender and everything the other thing that I forgot to touch on um, you need to pick up some chain okay now this chain here and this chain here I took out of the container at the yard okay any tires that are not on the trailer we need to lock up okay they're too easy to steal and they're not cheap and people will grab them if they can okay so get some locks I've already talked to buddy he'll reimburse you for any locks that you have to purchase and get some decent locks okay don't go buy a dollar lock okay that someone can just come up in a couple of wax with a hacksaw it's gone you don't have to pay two or three hundred dollars, but just get some decent locks, okay, to lock your stuff up. All right, so back over here. Like I said, I took that other tire off 
that we left on at the plant and I put it in the belly but you can see I got it locked up with a chain with carpet around the chain so it doesn't mess up the nice pretty rims and all of that kind of stuff okay same over here as over there I've got these two straps coming down about the center of the trailer and the reason for that is to sandwich these trailers together bring them down so that it keeps the rocking and everything like that um, out of the trailer and it helps it, the trailers on my trailer to move with my trailer okay now the, the that we know that that's not 14 feet high um, I didn't measure it but uh, you can take the you know the straps with the o-rings that we have if you don't have these red ones which a lot of you don't uh, that have the nylon loop you can go around the trailer with those o-ring straps come in and clip your strap to those and then come down but always put carpet you can see that it's nice and carpeted all right always put carpet where we don't mess it up mess up their trailers okay Jeremy is looking into getting some straps that are a couple feet longer just so for these loads okay and uh, that way uh, we know you'll have something to go from that top center one all the way down we know that the one in the middle four trailers up you'll have long enough straps for that but you can see now I know that some of you guys don't like to climb don't want to climb or whatever all right the first three or four trailers there's no climbing involved you can stand right here on your trailer on the outside on the i-beam whatever you can reach up in there and you can get your strap hooked up in there where it needs to be and then you can come down no climbing involved but once you get up to like trailer number five and 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 higher okay um, the, the straps are gonna be way up there I don't mind climbing but anyway what I did I got some PVC I made a little hook it's there at float on okay it's I don't know maybe five or six feet long it's got a 90 degree elbow with a piece of PVC coming out so what you can do because I did it just to make sure that you guys wouldn't have to climb when these trailers are out on the ground in the shop hook your straps to the trailer however you need to in the all the backs are gonna hook like this okay all the fronts are gonna hook underneath there just take your hook put it in there slide it forward make sure you're not catching any electrical lines you can push them out of the way I've done several of these loads and never had an issue okay that's the front of this trailer here so all the backs are gonna be like that and all the fronts are gonna be like that cuz see there's the next front up there you see let me zoom in a little bit okay so they all hook the same and then that one right there okay not a big deal so anyway if you attach your straps just like we do at Nautique and other places while the boat is down they'll pick the boat up or the trailer up they'll bring it over they'll load it their guys are going to be up there climbing around doing all this banding see those metal bands and putting the wood they do all of that okay once it's up there if you hook it while it's on the ground and then you just loosely like hang your strap over the backs in the front once it's up high like that you take that piece of pvc that i made you go up there and you hook the strap and pull down and the strap will come falling down you grab it you put your ratchet on it and then you go right down here to wherever you're going i did that on this load just to make sure that it was doable and it's very doable where nobody has to do any climbing or anything like that okay these tires here are because i couldn't put any of the spare tires on these trailers or we would have been way over height so we know for sure you're gonna have seven spares okay there's eight up here because of the tires that are taken off of here but if I can get all these tires on then you'll only have the spares plus six more okay that's 13 tires versus 31 tires that I had to take off well they they were off there but that I'm gonna have to put on 
okay and hold on I'm gonna pause it and walk around okay back over here here's the thing with the straps okay you're gonna need right around 38 to 40 35 to 4 depending on if I can get rid of that back there by putting more of the tires on you, you'll need a few less but let's just say around 40 straps okay um, if you show up and you have 32 straps you use all 32 of your straps to do all this here all that back there and stuff and then you go over and you get okay let me back up I left three pa uh, boxes of straps they're brand new straps okay those straps are only to be used for whatever you're short to get this load out the doors if you have 32 and you need 37 then you go over in those boxes and you get only five straps so use all of your straps first get everything you got two more trailers to do and you're out of straps well you need eight more straps because it's four straps per trailer okay so those straps that are there are not a strap exchange where you take your old straps and you leave your old straps and you get new ones these are only there to be able to complete this load okay um, don't leave any straps no matter what that's what our yard is for that's where we are supposed to get our straps replenished from and those straps at float on are just to give you enough straps to do the load get out the door if you need eight then take eight if you need ten take ten don't take more because other drivers are going to come in and need them there's also a sign in for a inventory of the straps put your name truck number and how many straps you took so that when we start getting low we know that we need to send some more straps down there okay we can ship them down there or we can take them if a driver's coming through the yard to go down and get the trailer anyway you should get my point by now so um i'm gonna do one more just kind of quick walk around let you look you got any questions about what's involved in loading this load then just call me i'm gonna have this video on my youtube um, you can watch it as many times as you want you can watch it pause it call me and say hey I'm looking at it this I'll try to explain I've done this multiple loads out of there and I went down and helped a couple of the guys when they went there to load because I just happened to be home and I drove down there in my car so um, any way I can help you to understand you know anything about this that you're confused with or that you don't understand or whatever just call me and we'll talk it over <clears throat> it's really not that difficult of a load you keep like look these boats have these uh, trailers haven't moved since i left florida the wood for any of those of you that used to do the boatmate trailers with me uh you can see they use heavy duty wood and they metal band these trailers together and the wood to the trailers so you know the boatmate trailers we had issues with them always shifting and moving and all that you're not going to have that here so long as you keep your straps tight okay and you strap them the way i'm telling you away from the trailer and putting these straps here and sandwiching them together which it also what it does is when you're going down the road your these stack of trailers are going to move with your trailer instead of opposite like your trailer's moving and these are shaking these two strap these four straps two on each side are going to help eliminate that okay i didn't measure that one right there but i know that that tire back there is 13 so you use that like i said use that tire strap with the o-rings go around it come down and uh, you should have long enough straps to do that all right not very difficult Oh, let me touch on one thing. The reason I had that space in those tires in the very back is because we had all this room up here um, that we could have slid this back boat back, okay? Um, partially my bad. If we slide the very bottom, 
all the way back up to here or if you've got a toolbox right to the toolbox that would have eliminated the tongue of the trailer back here going in between the tires like it did right here and that's why I had this gap that's why I had to use these extra straps so on and so forth but that tongue is going to be pushed back and I could get another tire in here and that would help to hold them nice and tight the other thing that I'm going to change by pushing that trailer back is that metal um, beam right down there is sitting on my trailer now it's not hurting their trailer and it's not hurting mine but when I slide back that should move that to somewhere in here which means I can drop that trailer down about another three inches two and a half to three inches that's going to help with being able to raise the other trailers and get the tires on so I'm gonna do everything I can because I don't want to have to put on any more tires than is necessary and I know you guys aren't going to want to do it either so um, we'll see I'm going to do the next load out of there and I'll see what I can do how many tires I can get on and what the height is and then as people are going in there uh, you watch this video and then I'll be able to tell you um, exactly what I did to uh, to get more tires and still keep the height in okay my it, 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 here's the last thing I'm gonna say it, there's a, an advantage to getting here early this is a Sunday I'm here on the day before I'm gonna unload why because I now want to get up here and take all of these straps off okay now if you're not a climber go ahead and undo them okay set your ratchet down let them hang when they take them off tomorrow you can get your straps off um, after the trailers down on the ground but I'm I don't mind climbing I want all that off I have some tin snips that I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna cut all those banding wires out okay why so that in the morning all my straps are rolled up I'm ready all we got to do is pick the trailers up put the tires on two one two three four five six seven and we're done if not you're gonna sit here for a couple of extra hours while all this extra stuff is done you're taking your straps off the banding one you see my point right so that's about all I got to say about that and you know how to get a hold of me